I'm Dan McClure. I'm the lead level designer for Empire Earth 2. The research that we did for this game was uh, a lot of reading, starting off historical texts. And then we moved into, after that, doing, uh, using the web and doing research there. Well, when we start drafting the scenarios, we do it in uh, paper and pen kind of form. Then you move from there into a map editor, using the tools to create the actual geography. And then from there you move into the actual scripting, which is making things happen for the player and, and to the player. We try and play test them as much as possible and put in as many things as possible that we can determine, well, is this fun? Does this really fit with this scenario? And from there, it's just sculpting. As a developer, you're playing it looking for things that are wrong. You're always doing that. You're always looking for things that are wrong. And at least I found that I know when it's fun when I'm no longer looking for things that are wrong. I'm playing because I want to win. <laughs> The AI in our game is devious. <laughs> it's the most clever AI that I've ever played against. Uh, he uses feints, uh, counterattacks, takes advantage of, of actual established fortifications and, and, and builds clever fortifications also. We have a map editor that allows us to uh, deform the terrain, uh, create rivers, resize the map, put down forest resources, everything that the, the random map generator does, but we can, we can handcraft it. Making a map for a single player experience is much different than multiplayer. Multiplayer, you're essentially making something that you want to have balanced. You want it to be fair for, for whatever number of players. For a single player map, you're actually weaving it in with the story. You, you, want, you want the player to explore the map and unfold the story at the same time. In Empire 2, you can build a road wherever you can send your units. We have rivers, and rivers impact gameplay a great deal. They're natural barriers, and you have to actually build roads and bridges in order to cross those barriers. And that influences the kind of strategies that, that players use against each other. Rated T for Teen.